In other news now, the Federal High Court seated in Abuja has nullified a ward and local government congresses of the All Progressive Congress APC conducted for the purpose of nominating its candidate for the Kogi State Governorship election built for November the 11. In a judgment delivered by Justice James Omotosho held that the said congresses, which held on February 7, were not conducted in compliance with the provisions of both the Electoral Act 2022 and the APC's constitution. It therefore ordered the leadership of the party to conduct fresh ward and LGA congresses with strict adherence to Section 84 of the Electoral Act 2022 and Article 13 of the APC constitution. The judgment followed the suit that was brought before the court by aggrieved members of the party led by one real one, Okpanachi. Justice Omoto Show held that there was merit in the case of the plaintiffs, even as he barred the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from recognizing any candidate of the party that emerged from any primary election conducted with a set unlawful list of delegates. The APC in Kogu State ought to have conducted special world congresses to elect delegates that will eventually elect the party's candidates for the governorship election, but none was conducted at all at any ward. And also this was that our clients approached the court to say, look, there was nothing but they just saw a purportedly submitted and that the list should be set aside. And the court granted it and even won that uh, the days of impunity, political impunity, are gone forever and it will not be tolerated and advise the parties to go and conduct uh, congresses prior to the nomination of uh, their candidates. Today we are in court to, to strengthen democracy at the state level, to entrench uh, rule of law and internal democracy. And, um, and uh, we, are, we thank God that the party has seen the, the fact of the case from our own ends and has given a judgment that is favorable to every party. And we appreciate all the members of the party at the state level and the leaders who supported us in the course of this uh, struggle. We are, our case is not against an individual or anybody, but is to, you know, is to fight for the right thing to be done within the party and avoid some of the you know, avoidable mistakes that cost us so much in other states such as Zamfara, River State, and of late even Nasarawa State. And, uh, and we also thank the leadership of the, of the party because the last time I met with the National Working Committee, presided over by the, by the National Chairman, uh, you know, I told him we discussed as to what can be done to bring justice to the parties in the state. And we said, no, the only thing to be done is to do direct primaries. And if you must continue with indirect primaries, then you must do delegate election, Congress, that will throw up legitimate uh, you know, Congress. And he assured me that he was going to ensure that we do direct primaries. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.